dear students in my previous lecture i was solving the problem on uh, integral property in the laplace transform i'll complete the solution of that problem and another uh, uh, two cases i will discuss this is uh, the problem which we discussed in the previous class was involving the trigonometric functions uh, the integral property which already you know that that is laplace transform of function that is f of t divided by the algebraic term t that is equal to integral s to infinity and uh, f of s that f of s should be under the integral sign that is integral property procedure and uh, uh, integral should be done with respect to s. Okay. What we did in the previous uh, uh, step that is cos a t minus cos b t divided by 2 under the uh, divided by t under the application of Laplace transform is equal to we separated those two terms this one this is cos a t divided by t and minus of cos b t divided by t therefore integral s to infinity that is <coughs> cos a t divided by 2 and uh, t and cos b t divided by t here also t then that is to be taken as uh, uh, integration with respect to cos whatever uh, the result is there, but it should be written in the form of f of s and afterwards uh, its value should be integrated because Laplace transform of the particular function f of t we have to select and then applying Laplace transform you must get the result in terms of s and then it is to be integrated with respect to s. So, this is a uh, d s and later we have to avoid the application of uh, upper limit that is infinity and we have to bring it to the finite value not the infinite value. Let me continue the step where I uh, uh, completed that means to which stage we completed in my previous class from there onwards I will give the simplification then I will switch over to the next problem. The step which we did in the previous class that is is equal to L of cos a t minus L of cos b t and divided by 2. Yesterday we did up to here that is s to infinity f of s because the formula is L of f of t by t is equal to s to infinity f of s and then d s where this f of s l of e of t is equal to f of s. This f of s will be taken by choosing this is equal to f of t that means comparison you have to do that cos of a t. It is f of s which must be written s divided by s square plus a square <coughs> d s minus should be s to infinity it is f s s divided by s square plus b square it is d s. You have to integrate these two terms with respect to s and then you have to apply that is s equal to s and then s equal to infinity then that gives 1 by 2 1 by 2 log of s square plus a square this is the integration and minus 1 by 2 log of it is a square plus b square and these two terms are to be defined between s to infinity till in my till the previous class we discussed up to here and i told you that why this 1 by 2 is appeared here because you have the integration formula that is f dash x and divided by f of x dx is equal to log of it is f of x plus constant like this your formula is there. That means differentiation of denominator when it appears ratio of that should be written as log of f x plus constant using that one. Differentiation of s square plus a square gives 2 s there is no 2 so that we have to divide by 2. Similarly, to the second term. Then now we replace uh, uh, you know, s equal to infinity and s equal to s 
in this term as well as in this term. Therefore, what we are going to get log infinity minus of log infinity. Suppose you are getting like uh, log infinity minus log infinity and minus the value in terms of s equal to s, but this becomes infinity minus infinity. So, this value is meaningless quantity that means you have studied already in the second semester that means first year uh, engineering syllabus this is called as indeterminate form indeterminate form. It is not a finite quantity as it is that means log infinity minus log infinity means you cannot define that as a 0, you cannot cancel that infinity minus infinity because only for finite values we have to discuss the simplification. So, now it is indeterminate form and further it is to be analyzed. To avoid that in indeterminate form, we take uh, some rearrangement in this case itself, it goes like this, you take 1 by 2 outside and that is log of it is s square plus a square minus log of s square plus b square and then s to infinity should be 1 by 2 it is you have the formula that is log m minus log n is equal to log of m by n. This you studied in uh, pre university syllabus itself that means in 12th class syllabus you have studied log of m by n this is this comes under natural logarithms log of m by n is equal to log of numerator minus log of denominator that is log m minus log n. But we are writing from the answer to the question like this part is given so that we have to write this one as log of s square plus a square over s square plus b square and that is s to infinity. This arrangement we are doing as I told you already uh, to avoid the upper limit substitution which gives us infinity minus infinity that becomes as uh, indeterminate form. So, to avoid that now we have to take this s square outside 1 by 2 log of it should be s square into 1 plus a square by s square one term and s square into 1 plus b square divided by a square. Now, it is to be applied the limits as they are. Now, this s square gets cancelled and as a result you are getting after cancelling this 1 by 2 log of it is 1 plus a square by a square divided by 1 plus b square by a square and this goes for the same limits s to infinity. Now, when now it is a convenient and it is comfortable we can avoid infinity. How we can avoid infinity? That means, infinity when it comes in the denominator because you know the value that is 1 z divided by 0 is equal to infinity whereas, 1 divided by infinity is equal to 0. If you take cross multiplication 1 by infinity is equal to 0 whereas, 1 by 0 is equal to infinity we have the simplification like this. Then that infinity uh, if it comes in denominator easily we can write this infinity as uh, when it comes in the denominator that becomes 0 that means, this is a finite quantity this is infinite quantity. So, now we can write uh, very easily that is log of 1 plus a square by s square that means, s equal to infinity that becomes log of 1 therefore, 1 by 2 log of it is 1 plus 0 divided by 1 plus 0 for the upper limit application upper limit means s equal to infinity. Now, we talk about lower limit s equal to s that remains same same quantity with 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 multiplication of minus sign that is all that is equal to log of it is 1 plus a square by s square divided by 1 plus b square by s square. This is uh, your final calculation. Uh, next what we are getting here? You do the simplification here log 1 plus 0 becomes 1 and 1 here 1 by 1 is 1 therefore, finally we are left with 1 by 2 inside the bracket that is log 1 and minus of you bring it back to the original form that is original form is this was the existing form 
and we made it uh, uh, to uh, show that s square in the denominator then s square when it comes in the denominator then uh, we were we expected that uh, infinity should come in the denominator for that arrangement we had taken. So, now we go back to write uh, the same original form that must be log of if you take the LCM it remains to be same s square plus a square divided by s square plus b square and this is the bracket and uh, 1 by 2 this log 1 is 0 and minus of this is log of s square plus a square divided by s square plus b square. This is the answer you are getting and uh, for further this can be written as log of this much and 1 by 2 is there. So, even you can take 1 by 2 also inside that is minus of 1 by 2. So, log of s square plus a square and divided by s square plus b square. So, this is your answer. Then integration after the integration proce process is completed then application of limits plays a major role. This is one such uh, case we discussed and uh, next uh, problem will be that is e to the power e minus e t minus e to the power minus b t divided by 2. This problem goes in the similar fashion that is uh, uh, exponential term whatever uh, Laplace transform of exponential term is there that you have to take. I will give the uh, hints how to proceed further because already when you understood this problem and similar procedure you can apply. I will give the main steps you can uh, uh, continue with the details. Details means simplification. Simplification you must follow the same procedure. Whatever the previous problem we have followed, we have uh, given the hints and you must follow the same procedure. This is the case of next problem is exponential terms L of e to the power minus a t and minus, e minus of e to the power minus of b t divided by t. So, this also can be written that is L of e to the power minus a t by t minus e to the power minus b t divided by t. You can write like this and compare with the formula that is L of f t by t. Therefore, in the first term on the right side f t happens to be e to the power minus a t and in the second term e to the power minus b t. Therefore, f t equal to e to the power minus a t and f t is equal to in the second case e to the power minus b t and directly I hope you have learnt by uh, studying all these things directly you must be in a position to write when f t is there what is the value of f s when f s is there what is the value of f t that means that uh, reverse procedure comes to be the uh, uh, study of uh, inverse Laplace transform that in the next few classes uh, we will discuss and f t is equal to e to the power minus a t then directly you can write that is equal to 1 by s plus a and here f of s is equal to 1 by it should be s plus b. So, this is the value of f s and this is the value of f s and uh, apply the formula that is integration uh, uh, integral property formula in the Laplace transform that formula goes once again uh, with these values therefore, L of e to the power minus a t minus L of e to the power minus b t and divided by t should be s to infinity f of s in the first case is 1 by s plus a minus because there is a minus sign and 1 by s plus b then that must be it is d s then it is to be integrated. What is the integration of the first value should be log of s plus a minus log of s plus b under the limits under the limits that is s to infinity. Same procedure previous problem or details you have followed to followed for the simplification here also it happens to be the same thing and let me know why you, you have written uh, this as log function and here also log function that means same formula you can compare your from your basic integration that is basic integration of logarithmic function that means differentiation of this s plus a is with respect to s is 1 that is appeared in numerator and differentiation of s plus b is 1 that is also appeared in the numerator. Therefore, that is also similar to the basic formula that formula is integration of f dash x divided by f x 
under under the integral sign gives us log of that denominator plus constant. Therefore, log of s plus a minus of log of s plus b defines over the limits s equal to s to infinity. So, you will you replace the uh, variable that is s by the upper limit minus of you will replace the uh, lower limit uh, replace by the lower limit uh, for wherever s is there. So, that here also you will arrive at a conclusion that is log infinity minus log infinity when you apply s equal to infinity. So, that you can avoid uh, you uh, to avoid that one we go like this that is log of it should be s into 1 plus a by s divided by s into 1 plus b by s then it is s to infinity this s cancels and in a similar type it happens to be the result then you can write it as that uh, after uh, applying the limits first uh, term you are getting it as log 1 and which happens to be 0 minus log of 1 plus a by s divided by 1 plus it is b by s. This is what your result finally that is minus of log of that is s plus a and divided by s plus b. So, this is your answer when exponential terms are there and next is constant term that means one constant and one exponential term uh, uh, is there in the numerator. So, constant term individually you have to take that is 1 by t and in that case uh, that is uh, L of 1 uh, you will be compared with L of f t that means original function f of t will be taking it as a constant and f of t will be taking in the second case as exponential term. I will give the hints for that problem also so that you can write the remaining steps that is these three varieties I hope uh, repetition of such cases also you can go for practice so that the concept you can make more perfect that is L of 1 minus e to the power t over t this one can be written as L of 1 by t minus L of e to the power t by t. So, this can be compared this is f of t and this is f of t and its f s in the first term is equal to 1 by s and in the second term that is f t is equal to e to the power t that is 1 by s minus 1. In the list of uh, Laplace inverse uh, transforms that means uh, uh, elementary functions already we discussed constant uh, Laplace transform of the function when f of t is constant it is f of s is equal to 1 by s when f of t that is equal to exponential term that leaves us 1 by s minus a where a is equal to 1. Then the problem you can write it as that is integral s to infinity 1 by s ds there is a minus sign put it and s to infinity that should be 1 by s minus 1 it is ds. Here also integration takes place like this should be log of s and minus log of it is s minus 1 and then it is s to infinity. Same type it goes that is log of it is s divided by s into 1 minus 1 by s you have to avoid infinity right that is s to infinity this s cancels then it leaves first one is log 1 when you replace this one that is 1 by infinity is 0 log 1 and here 1 remains 1 by 1 is 1 therefore log 1 this obviously becomes 0 and minus for the lower limit that is log of s divided by uh, 1 divided uh, s divided by s minus that is 1 remains therefore final answer is log of s divided by it is s minus 1. Students you can uh, think in this direction whenever you come across uh, trigonometric functions exponential terms and uh, combination of exponential and constant combination of trigonometric and exponential combination of trigonometric exponential and constants like that. You can take uh, varieties of problems because all the three we have discussed you can take varieties of problems like this. So, that uh, you can think in that direction and uh, solve the problems here general term uh, we have written that is a is equal to 1. Therefore, integral property plays a major role uh, to solve when algebraic term comes in the denominator. So, this ends uh, all the three important properties. Let me give a reminder uh, before uh, concluding uh, about the 
three important properties in the Laplace transform, direct Laplace transform. One is the first property which you discussed uh, as shifting property that is this one exponential is multiplied to f of t then algebraic term is multiplied to that is exponential term like that otherwise t cube that means t cube is multiplied means algebraic term t cube is multiplied and uh, uh, second property that goes as derivative property and to when algebraic term comes uh, denom in the denominator then uh, that we uh, make use of uh, integral property. So, these three properties all of you please uh, learn properly and then see that how the functions are to be evaluated using these properties. The next discussion I am going to take, take up is periodic functions, Laplace transform of periodic functions. This is another important concept in the engineering problems uh, applied to various uh, uh, physical situations of the engineering branches especially you can find where uh, the periodic phenomenon is going to be applied. That means, periodic phenomenon means in one of my previous lectures probably in the introduction also I have mentioned. Now, I will give the reminder periodic function the word itself conveys the meaning which function satisfies the uh, with respect to the trigonometric functions we are talking about now. Because in the case of periodic functions the period which we are considering whatever the length of the period and most of the problems in the engineering problems we discuss uh, the period of uh, fixed period we call that means constant period we call it that is between 0 to 360 degrees which trigonometric functions satisfy this type of uh, condition that means addition of this angle to the original uh, angle and the function remains to be same that we call it as periodic with that angle that means uh, here most of the uh, uh, problems will take the application in the general form like this that is f of t plus t or omega here omega will be defined as a period or t will be defined as a period. So, any one symbol uh, universally accepted capital T or universally accepted omega any one symbol you can define f of t is equal to f of t plus t is equal to f of t and f of t plus 2 t is equal to f of t and f of t plus uh, 3 t is equal to f of t and so on so on like this. Which function satisfy this type of condition where t is greater than 0 which uh, which functions satisfy this type of, uh, type of condition are to be regarded as periodic functions. Okay. Now, on this application that is t is what value? For example, if you take uh, sin trigonometric function with the angle as 360 degrees that is sin of t plus 360 degrees is equal to it is sin of t only and similar thing cos function happens that is cos t plus 360 degrees is equal to it is cos t. How? You have studied in uh, 12th class syllabus again that means, in the pre university syllabus you have studied uh, the rule ASTC rule ASTC rule and here it takes plus theta and here it takes minus theta here it takes minus 90 degree and here it takes plus 90 degree and here it takes minus 180 degree and here it takes plus 180 degree and here it takes minus 270 degree and here it takes plus 270 degree. If you continue again 90 degree if you add because uh, it is perpendicular then this must be minus 360 degree and this is plus 360 degree. So, plus theta and plus 360 minus theta and minus 360 will be representing the same uh, meaning that means, the dire direction of that radius vector is rotating. What I mean by radius vector here like this when we write because that that is uh, the initial line this x axis is the initial line initial line in the anti clockwise direction if you rotate this. in the anti clockwise direction if you rotate this like this 
then this becomes plus theta and up to here when you bring it and this experiences minus of 90 degree and this experiences plus of 90 degree and when you here bring it this experiences minus 180 degree and this experiences plus 180 degree like that this trigonometric function that is sin of 360 plus theta according to all students take coffee that is ASTC rule uh, the sin of 360 plus theta here the meaning is all are positive and uh, except sin and its reciprocal or need uh, in the first quadrant all are positive. So, that but sin remains to be same because 360 means that is even multiples of 90 degree therefore, sin 360 plus theta is equal to in place of theta t is there that is sin t then cos of 360 plus theta is equal to cos t. Most of the engineering problems uh, uh, people discuss with the periodic uh, phenomenon they come across especially in the electronics branch el electrical branch and bio, uh, that is uh, instrumentation engineering even in uh, fluid flow systems and mechanical and civil engineering and chemical engineering you, you people do come across uh, the periodic phenomenon where pe uh, this type of uh, trigonometric functions they are going to deal with for what purpose. Uh, and there also they will come across uh, the uh, situation will be put in the form of some formulation that formulation may contain the derivatives then that be, uh, that leads to the differential equation then the solution of that differential equation will be leading uh, may, be, may be leading in terms of uh, uh, three different uh, kinds of roots if it is second or second order uh, derivative then uh, one among uh, three cases of roots will be for imaginary roots that imaginary roots will be containing this cos and sin functions. This cos and sin functions means cos uh, with uh, uh, 360 degree that means a period of length uh, 2 pi this is pi for example, if it is placed on the x axis and this is 2 pi that means this much of length for example, sin is sinusoidal wave it goes like this this is starting theta equal to 0 and theta is equal to pi and theta is equal to 2 pi therefore, one full sine wave one full sine wave means passing through the origin and uh, again passing through theta is equal to plus pi and 2 pi. So, a periodic phenomenon means one cycle of operation that is 0 to 2 pi this sine function and cos function will satisfy that condition therefore, this function remains to be same. So, based on this principle in the Laplace transform we derive one relation that relation is L of f t that is equal to 0 to t e to the power minus s t f t d t and divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s t. Briefly I will give the derivation of uh, this uh, equation because this is most important in engineering problems how this uh, Laplace transform can also be expressed in terms of the right side integration multiplied by 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s t. We start with uh, Laplace uh, 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 transform definition that definition is L of f t is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t and then f t d t fine. This is the limit 0 to infinity what we do here then 0 to t we will write that e to the power minus s t and f t d t plus of t to 2 t that is e to the power minus s t f t d t and plus of 2 t 3 t e to the power minus s t and f t d t and plus so on like this. That means, uh, that is anyway up to infinity last limit is up to infinity therefore, 0 to t the same uh, limit minimum up to the maximum will be distributed uh, we use the property of definite integrals uh, will be like uh, inter, inter, uh, property of definite integral will be a to b can be written as a to c and c to d like that. So, we split this one, but with the period that means length of between a period length that is between 0 to t t units and t to 2 t t units and 2 t to 3 t t units. Then I call this one as integration 1 that is I 1, I call this one as integration 2 and I call this one as integration 3. Then the same Laplace transform of f t then will be is explained for 
different integrals with the, the limits are splitted among the given minimum and maximum. Now, particular substitutions will play the role here in I 2, in I 2 we put the variable that means we replace the variable t is equal to uh, t plus omega where that where that uh, uh, that is omega is a new new value and uh, omega otherwise some other symbol that is in I 2 and in I 3 put t is equal to t plus 2 omega like that that is in the rest of the integrals like this. Then we replace uh, the upper limits uh, and lower limits with the new symbol that means which is the variable that is d omega otherwise t which are the symbol as period we are going to take then d t is equal to that is d t uh, d omega and because omega you have to assign new values and d t is equal to that is sorry d t and then d t etcetera. But this takes the new limits at t is equal to small t is equal to upper limit that is 2 t that is in the case of integration 2 small t is equal to 2 t then what is the value of omega here 2 t that is equal to t because 2 t you are replacing in the left side and this t is brought to the left side simplification gives us omega is equal to t. Therefore, at t is equal to it is t only then you can easily make out here t is there left side t is there minus t minus t that becomes 0 like that. Therefore, if you give new limits and all of them will be with the new limits in, e, in each one and here this function when you are going to replace this one that becomes f of t plus f of t is equal to f of t plus omega f of small t gives us f of capital T plus omega, but according to the definition already I explained that becomes f of t. Then f of t in the next case also f of t plus 2 omega is equal to f of t. That means any one of these two whichever you consider accordingly this function remains. Uh, period that means new symbol it depends on like this then all of them f of t and uh, by using once again we write this one as f of t by using once again the property of uh, definite integrals that means a to b f of t dt is equal to a to b f of x dx a equal to a to b f of y it is dy that means under the def, uh, integral sign if the variable is continuously uh, replacing by different symbol without bother uh, changing the limits without changing the limits the function remains to be same that means integral with the different symbol remains to be same that is one of the properties. So that this property uh, using that property so that we can write this function that is f of t in terms of f of t therefore here f of t and here f of t here f of t and all that then 0 to t then 0 to t here because new limits already you got 0 to t and similar thing here also happens 0 to t. So, considering all these things of uh, putting these substitutions in I 2 I 3 and I 4 on onwards you will be getting the function under the integral sign as the same thing that is equal to then 0 to t that is e to the power minus s t and f of t dt and plus e to the power that is when you are going to replace that is t plus omega that is e to the power uh, in place of t that is t plus omega means minus s t is equal to minus s into t plus omega like this that is equal to minus s into t and minus s into omega therefore, that comes to be minus s into t. Uh, sorry minus s into omega then and that is 0 to t like that e to the power minus s t it is f of t dt and plus so on like this when you go on writing 
So, that comes to be 1 plus e to the power uh, minus s into omega depending on the symbol whichever uh, symbol you define it as a period and e, uh, e to the power minus 2 s omega plus so on they are all operating on that is 0 to t e to the power minus s t it is f of t and then d t. So, this is exponential series summation will be written e to the power minus s into omega that is 0 to t and e to the power minus s t and f of t it is d t. So, that that is 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s into capital T if you take then as a period then 0 to t e to the power minus s t it is f of t and then d t. So, this is L of f of t if t is the if t is the period finally, we declare if t is the period. Therefore, uh, the coefficient all of them coefficients will be uh, coming out as uh, c exponential series and then it is summation will be written as 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s t that is that becomes the expansion for that series. So, this is periodic function uh, uh, theorem uh, derivation and we can use this theorem for various application problems here you will find very good good number of applications as examples uh, of different uh, functions that means uh, problems of the type you are going to study especially in engineering problems you will come across full wave rectification, half wave rectification, triangular wave function, saw toothed wave like that different uh, uh, functions you are going to get and those functions will have to be uh, discussed on the application of this formula. That means, uh, given the function that is f of t is equal to 1 and minus 1 here f of t 1 and here it is minus 1. Uh, this has to be plotted on the uh, graph sheet, so that you will get that is a square wave function and uh, this is square wave means above the x axis and below the x axis uh, squares you are going to plot, but the same thing you are going to discuss in terms of uh, periodic function theorem. Uh, here this is infinity this is a pr printing mistake that we have to change it as uh, uh, period whatever it is given that is uh, omega or capital T. Therefore, periodic function how this formula goes and uh, what is the result of this one through the integration we have to do it. Now, next uh, this is triangular wave function, triangular wave function means f of t is equal to t that is uh, the straight line passing through the origin and uh, one more is straight line not passing through the origin. This I will plot and then I will give uh, two different functions when they intersect they will form the triangle. So, at each uh, interval uh, each triangle will be uh, regular uh, triangles will be formed and then how that uh, triangle is going to be uh, formed through the plot let me explain. Then first problem or first application on the periodic function we are going to take that is f of t is equal to that is first is 1 and second one is minus 1 and the interval it is given first function is defined between 0 less than t less than a by 2 and a by 2 less than t and then less than a is there. This is the interval is given to us. Therefore, t is equal to a you have to understand these two that means starting number and the ending number you have to take. So, this is 0 and this is capital T according to the formula just now we derived that what you have to define uh, the Laplace transform on the periodic function uh, problem is we have the formula L of f t L of f t is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s t and 0 to t e to the power minus s t it is f of t it is d t. Here 0 to t that means this is starting number this is ending number in between two different functions are there, but each function is given with the corresponding interval corresponding interval means limits we can call then that is uh, equal to and t is equal to a here you can clearly write because the period we call it as a period 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s into a then your integration will be first limit a by 2 and e to the power minus s t multiplied by 1 it is d t and the second limit that is a by 2 
lower limit and the upper limit is e to the power minus s into t and here that is minus 1, it is dt. In both the uh, integrals, we have only the exponential term, but the function is 1 and function is minus 1. So, that you have to deal the integration in both the cases as uh, uh, with a single exponential term. Therefore, that is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus a s and inside the integral sign 0 to a by 2 e to the power minus e s t d t that is all and plus of plus means here minus sign is there you can take minus and a by 2 that is a e to the power minus e s t it is d t is there. You are supposed to integrate uh, this one only the exponential term 1 minus e to the power a minus a s in the denominator and then e to the power minus s t integration is that is e to the power minus s t divided by t coefficient which comes in denominator. Then this is under the limits 0 to a by 2 minus e to the power minus s t divided by minus s. This is under the limits a by 2 to a you have to apply which you have to replace t is equal to upper limit and t is equal to lower limit. Here also t is equal to a and t is equal to a by 2 that you must do it 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus a s t is equal to a by 2 e to the power minus s into a by 2 and divided by minus s and minus of t equal to 0 you are substituting e to the power 0 is 1 therefore 1 divided by minus of s this is minus sign is there already, but one more minus sign you are putting for the application of lower limit. Then next uh, term uh, after the integration you are substituting these limits there is a minus sign minus becomes plus sign minus s into a and divided by s this is minus minus plus sign and t is equal to a by 2 this minus this minus and that is a by 2 is the lower limit. Therefore, 3 times you get minus sign 1 minus this minus and application of lower limit 1 more minus sign. Therefore, 3 times uh, minus 1 whole cube you are getting. Therefore, e to the power minus s into a divided by 2 and divided by s. Therefore, that is 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus a s inside the bracket that is e to the power minus a s by 2 and e to the power minus a s by 2. There are this is both with the same sign that is 1 by s and here it is plus sign. Let me write that as a first term and uh, this one that is uh, 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 I, am I am going to write because it is a repeated term. Therefore, 2 times e to the power minus a s and divided by 2 divided by s and plus of e to the power minus a s and divided by s is there. Further simplification gives that is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus a s. First term otherwise you can take this s outside first term is 1, second term is minus 2 e to the power it is minus a s by 2 and last term is plus e to the power minus a s. So, this is your answer. This also can be written further that means summation of these three terms you can simplify and also you can put it in another form. This is the solution of this problem. Now, uh, you, you may get uh, the questions of the type find the Laplace transform of this uh, square wave function and uh, sketch the graph of that. Sketch the graph goes like this. You are given the function f t is equal to 1. Therefore, this is f of t because dependent variable and this is a time period. So, time period will come on the x axis and its functional value will come on the y axis and you have to apply these limits that is first limit is between 0 to a by 2. Let me indicate here that is a by 2. Let me indicate same t is equal to a if you, if you take that that is a by 2 to a. Next you can ex extend like that that is 3 a by 2 means every time you are adding the interval like a by 2 and so on. Therefore, next is it is 2 a like that and it goes in the continuation. Now, 
what is f of t this is nothing but according to the plot means this is nothing but functional value functional value means what do you mean it is a dependent variable and t on the x axis it is independent variable. So, the inputs are the inputs are between these limits between these limits, but the function is 1 and function is minus 1 that means 1 unit the length of that dependent variable is 1 unit. How we are going to represent first is plus 1 that means you have to go for the upper uh, in the uh, uh, positive direction that means in the upper direction you have to indicate y value as 1 y equal to f t that is equal to 1 and the uh, lower region for the next function between a by 2 to a that is minus 1 minus 1 the value of f t defines between which interval between this one and this one. So, that somewhere here exactly whatever the height you are going to show in the lower region same height you have to come from here therefore, it must be a straight line here up to here a by 2 to a and this must be a straight line it comes like this it comes like this then if you drop perpendicular like this it comes it comes like this therefore the limits are given 0 and a by 2 this is f of t is equal to 1 and this is f of t is equal to minus 1 because uh, this is a positive direction of y and this is negative direction of y and this is positive direction of x and this is negative direction of x or t right then this is positive plus 1 and this is negative uh, 1 therefore this must be same height in the lower region also same height and this must be a square and this must be a square so only this problem this problem is square wave function here uh, the word is uh, there square wave function where do we apply in engineering problems this concept we are going to apply in the engineering problems especially in the periodic functions that means periodic means 0 to a next a to 2a a to 2a means what we do here we will keep the mirror like this we will keep the mirror like this and uh, you will see the reflection of the entire diagram whatever you have placed entire diagram. So, that you can expect the reflection like this and it must be the continuation like this and in the lower region also you can extend this one. So, yeah, this is square number 1 and this is square number 2 this is square number 3 this is square number 4 like that it goes therefore, all these areas which we are going to form this is one area this second area this third area this fourth area like that all these areas must be having the vertically the same height and uh, horizontally the same height then this must be a square and so only it is called square wave function if you extend this one that is 0 to a then a to 2 a then 2 a to 4 a that means easily you can make out between these two maximum uh, distance maximum length as that is equal to 2 a that means the function which satisfies this condition the satisfies this condition means the plot should be repeated like that it is a square lower region square and it is a square lower region square that means I will put the mirror here you will see the reflection here I will put the mirror here you will see the reflection here this process is going to be continued this process is going to be applied for studying especially in the digital signal processing in the electronics branch and electrical and also instrumentation engineering the people are going to apply more about the square wave function and also in uh, 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 especially flow phenomenon of uh, 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 various uh, wave propagations the people are going to apply as the application uh, meaning uh, this periodic co phenomenon concept they are going to apply. So, next problem we are going to take up as uh, uh, the uh, triangular wave function next problem that is triangular wave function will be in terms of uh, plots that means this is square wave function square wave function means that is uh, 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 value of f of t is equal to constant but in the next case the opposite type of uh, discussion we are going to take up that is f of t f of t is equal to this one t f of t is a variable and uh, uh, if, uh, in the earlier case f of t was a constant that means this is 1 f of t is equal to 1 is a constant but in the next case f of t is equal to t that means it is a straight line first degree in the variable t and first degree in the variable t easily you can make out the first function is uh, 
plotting is giving the plot for equation of straight line which is passing through the origin it is a homogeneous equation but in the second case it is not a homogeneous equation it is a non homogeneous equation like that I would like to stop up to here today and if there are any questions you can ask that I will answer. <coughs>